you see the word cherubim, you see the word guard. They are very protective angels. Exodus 25 verse 22 says, they're above the cover between the two cherubims that are over the ark of the testimony. I will meet with you and I will give you my command, says the Lord. You all remember the, the, the mercy seat. The cherubims were the angels that were chosen to be the ones that watch over the mercy seat because they were protecting God's presence. These are very protective angels. Matter of fact, they are violently protective of God's holiness. Cherubim are described as having the face of a lion. Write it down. The face of a man, the face of an ox, and the face of an eagle. Now there's a reason why. They don't look like these animals, but the word face means character. So these cherubims are interesting. They have the character of a lion, a man, an ox, and an eagle. Here's why. Number one, a lion represents strength. Cherubims are very strong, powerful angels, like the powerful lion. Number two, man. It represents the intelligence of these wonderful angels. They're very intelligent angels. They, they have the ability to actually make decisions. Number three, they are eagle faced, which means that they have speed and sight. An eagle has the sharpest sight of any bird in the world. These beings can see with the character of an eagle. Now why would the cherubims have to be able to see so sharply? And they watch everything. It's because they watch the presence of the Lord. For any contamination coming against or into God's presence. In other words, when the Bible says, if you touch God's holiness, you will die, it actually means these angels kill you. God doesn't kill you. It's the cherubims that get you. The flaming sword that they carry. Constantly watching the presence of the Lord. When you come into God's presence contaminated, they would wipe you up. That's why they use the term consume or burn. The, the flame of the sword is descriptive of their power to destroy. The cherubims therefore are very, very awesome creatures that are built to defend and protect the holiness of God. They're very powerful angels. Then the last one is an ox. Why would they look like an ox? Because an ox represents service and obedience. An ox is a servant animal. And it said these cherubims are always committed completely to serving God and they are always obedient to God. They do the bidding of God. Matter of fact, these angels are the ones who are specifically stated in the scripture that will not see any corruption. These ones can't fall because they are totally entrusted with the holiness of God. The last group of angels I want to tell you about today is the seraphim. A seraphim are mentioned in Isaiah chapter 6 but very little is known about them some scholars see them as the highest order of angels and, and their distinguishing characteristic is a most burning love for God as a matter of fact their name actually means seraphim means burning ones seraphims burning ones seraphims are very interesting cherubims got seven wings seraphims got about nine description of uh, uh, historically Apparently these, these angels are very, very protective of God, but these ones are right in the fire of God. Seraphims. Seraphims are the ones who would come and put a coal on your tongue. Remember the one with Isaiah? They're the ones who come from the altar of God, direct from the fire of God. The seraphims get that power. Cherubims protect the holiness of God. The seraphims actually give out the holiness of God. Very powerful angels. Now angels are living proof that there's much about the world we don't understand. We can't see them with our physical eye unless they reveal themselves. It also proves to us that we see life through a glass dimly. Life is much bigger than what you see. However, among all the things that we can learn from angels, there are two important truths I want you to go home with today. Number one, angels were created...